about light. They wish to not fully understand the true nature of light and its connection to dark matter and dark energy. If you had to propose the next big theory of light for the 21st century, what would it be and how would it change the future of science? Well, actually, for all our experiments so far, uh, the theories of De Broglie and Einstein are actually consistent with experiments. The problem is, while they're consistent experimentally, they don't seem to be consistent at all theoretically. It doesn't make sense that something can be, both be a light and a particle, a wave and a particle at the same time. So there's actually not really a theory, but an experimental theory that checks out with the results. And actually figuring out what the semantics are is the big issue of today. Figuring out how light can sometimes be a wave and particle, or if it's some other quantity entirely, is what most of physics is centered around today. So, if I had to propose a new theory of light, it wouldn't be exactly new, but adding on to the already existing wave-particle duality question. Now, as for what I would come up with in its connection to dark matter and energy, I think that's a lot more difficult. Because, first of all, you know, I'm just a person, one person, who stands here today without actually looking at experimental results or having done a study on how light works. And also, the relation to dark matter and energy is a little bit flimsy. See, dark matter and dark energy, it's not known where they are either. Dark matter and dark energy are like placeholders or blank spaces. We, are, we know through the field equation, through our observations of blue shifting and red shifting, that the galaxies are moving away from us with a rate that would be consistent with this amount of mass. However, the problem is our observations directly show that there is a smaller amount of mass, which means that the remainder has to be made up by some sort of dark energy which doesn't interact gravitationally, but still picks, is picked up by our observer, sorry, the other way around, which interacts gravitationally, but is not currently picked up by our observers. The same thing happens with energy. Dark matter and dark energy are our ways of filling up the discrepancy between our field, Einstein's field equation and our current observations. And who knows, maybe dark matter and dark energy do exist, and our observation technology is just too weak to detect them, or maybe they don't exist and Einstein's field equation is wrong. We're not sure which one yet. And so light is almost unrelated to it. It's only related to Einstein's field equation. Who's there? No problem.